guess what? It's Wednesday and it's my first What A Bag Wednesday. So stay tuned if you wanna see some bags cause that's what I'm gonna be showing. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Brittany with Laid Back Lux and today is What A Bag Wednesday where I'm gonna be share showcasing and sharing some of the items in my collection. Today I'm actually doing a tag video that was created by Double X Lux. I will link that below so you can go check it out. It's also attached to a giveaway video so if you wanna win something, definitely go run over there, check it out, enter, do all that good stuff. So this luxury tag is actually like a tag of first. So it's like your first, what, you know, first lots of things. So there's 10 first that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And I'm just gonna slide right on into it. Actually, before I do that, if you wanna become part of the laid back crew, if you're not already a crew member, smash that subscribe button below. I'd love to have more people part of the crew and I'd love to see what you guys are sharing as well. So if you are subscribed, awesome, thank you. I really appreciate the love. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. And also feel free to leave comments, hit the like button, the dislike button, do your thing. It's all good. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of go into the very first first. And this very first first <laughs> first Lux item is the first Lux item I fell in love with. And the very first Lux item that I fell in love with that I can actually remember was the um, Louis Vuitton Manhattan, the original Manhattan in the GM size. And I actually have it. So, uh, don't mind me in my dress. I just got off of a day of work. I'm tired. So this is the very first bag I ever really wanted that was a luxury bag. I remember being in high school and seeing this bag in a Cosmopolitan magazine and I remember showing it to my mother and being like, hey mom, I like this bag. My mom's always collected. I've always seen Louis Vuitton in her own personal collection. However, I never had any of my own. She wasn't buying me Louis Vuitton in high school. So um, yeah, this was the very first one that I had wanted and seen. And I remember showing her and being really pissed off because she went out and bought it for herself. <laughs> I know that's crazy, but she's infamous for doing that. Just a little bit. I love you, mom, but you do it a lot. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this is the very first bag that I fell in love with and luckily as I grew up and grew older She gifted it to me. So I do have it in my collection This is also one of the bags that I do want to get repaired because this bag has been loved and I didn't really take the best care of it when I first got it so the handles are a little gross, so I would like to change the vaquetta on the handles um and just kind of clean it up, spruce it up, and really show it the love that it deserves. But this is my very first bag that I fell in love with, and I'm absolutely glad I have it, even though it's heavy as shit, but it's still nice, it's beautiful. So the next first that I have is the first bag that I received as a gift. And again, it was a gift from my mother. So I've received a lot of bags in my time from her. Over half my collection is from my mother. But this was the very first bag that she gave me that was a luxury bag. And this is the Dior. I don't know the name of this Dior bag. All I know is it's like 20 years old. It's old. <laughs> maybe not 20. Well, no, maybe 20. Yeah, maybe 18, 15, between 15 and 20 years old. This guy is amazing. I love it. There's no logos on it. You're not gonna know really what it is unless you know Christian Dior. But this is my very first luxury gift that I was given. I've been given several more gifts since then from both my husband and my mom. And I really, really, absolutely love this bad boy. So the very first luxury item that I purchased for myself was... I lie, I don't have it anymore. I'll insert a picture. I'm actually... This is the one time that I'm going to possibly buy pre-love because I'm not a fan of buying pre-love but they don't have this bag anymore and it was my very first bag that I ever bought it was like 2004 2005 I was just out of high school and I bought the Americami black Treville in New Orleans and I'll put a picture boop, right there so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and if anyone wants to gift it to me I'll send you my address. <laughs> but that was the very first luxury item I bought myself. So there's that. And then, I guess the next one is your first hard to find bag. I haven't really had an issue with finding bags that I really want 
or items that I really want. But I guess this T15 took me the longest to find, I guess, or the Kirigami. Um, I think I had to wait like a month after asking my essay that I wanted this. But when she had it, she was like, I have the 15 and the 19. I'm like, I'll take them both. <laughs> I also want the 26, put that in there. So this would be, I guess, my first hard to find item. And then my first forever Lux item are all my items. Like they're gonna be forever. I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> and my first ridiculous or unnecessary Lux item is this candle. <sighs> this is Louis Vuitton candle. I have a video on it. I'll post it in the tags above. Go watch it. <laughs> Cause that's also another one of my, my list numbers. But this is my first unnecessary, ridiculous, item that I've purchased that it's just unnecessary. You don't need it. No one needs this piece of crap. And watch the video. You'll see why. <laughs> so, and then my most useful workhorse um, is definitely the Neverfull. This guy has been everywhere with me. It's been on business trips when I was traveling with Lush. It's been, you know, my work meal before I got the on the go. It has been literally the best, the most used bag ever. Like I have taken this to so many different places, so many different cities, so many different countries, and it's just great for travel. It's great for work. It's great for baby needs. If you have a baby, like I hear a lot of people saying that they use this as their diaper bag, like it can fit everything and more. And I absolutely love this. So then, um, I don't feel like I have any unicorns personally. Like, I feel like if I want it, I get it. And limited edition things are nice, but I don't go out of my way. Like, it just, I buy bags that I like. I don't buy them on trend or style or whatever. But I do have a unicorn bag that's a unicorn bag for, like, others. So I'll just share that with you guys. So that bag is this bad boy the murakami speedy and the white like <laughs> i actually love it i don't use it too often because it is white so i do try and take care of it but it is beautiful um it's a great special occasion bag i know a lot of people were really interested in this over the summer it was it became popular again so this would be a unicorn bag i guess that people really like and i guess this is my first limited edition bag <laughs> Never mind. It answers my question. This is my first limited edition bag. So yeah, we got that right there. And then my first regret, um, or the first one that got away, my regret is this stupid candle. I'm not going to go into details. I posted the video. Watch it after this one. But this stupid candle is a regret. Another regret that I have is I did have the Pachette Matisse Noir and, uh, yeah, an Empreint, and I sold it. And I'm so mad. Like I really, every day I kick myself because I sold it and I refuse to pay the price increases that have happened with it. So I'm just really like, Arr. that's my first real big regret. And I think about that all the time, all the time it is the one that got away. Cause I, I gave it away. So yeah. And then the last but not least, the first bag that I would buy and buy again, although I didn't buy this one this time, I would definitely buy it again. There's several different styles of speedies that I just absolutely love. I think I have one, two, three. If you count this four, and then if you count the luggage, I almost have five different types of bags that are speedy style. So apparently this is a love that I have. <laughs> this is a bag I would buy over and over and over again in several sizes, several styles. I want Empreinte, I want 30s, I want 25s, I want 40s, I want bandoliers, I want regular ass speedies. Like, I just want them all. So this is it. So yeah, that's my list of firsts. I hope you guys have learned something a little bit about me and I hope to learn something a little bit about you. If you feel like you wanna make this video, please do, I'd love to learn some first about some of you guys. If you don't wanna make the video, just leave stuff in the comments below. What was your first bag? What do you enjoy? What was the first bag you bought? Whatever, if you wanna answer any of these first questions, leave it in the comments, I'll check it out. I like hearing about it. 
so yeah that is going to be it for this video it was short sweet to the point again this tag was made by double x lux go check it out all right guys that is it for me i hope you have a great day i will see you on sunday for some self-care so go check that out all right guys stay safe and ciao